Hi guys, welcome back to Piranha Bites. So, this week we don't have too many number ones to go through. Um, I will take you through what we have, and I'll take you through some Batman stuff, because a certain movie came out. We don't talk about the movie. I still haven't seen it. So, first up from Marvel this week, Eternals the Heretic one-shot deals with Thanos' great uncle, uh, who's an outcast to the Eternals. He's imprisoned in Olympia. Um, for reasons you'll find out in here. Next up, I know a lot of you have been waiting for this Carnage number one. Seems to be picking up on the threads left, on, left from Absolute Carnage, which is very, very cool. I liked Absolute Carnage a lot. I liked all of that a lot, actually. Um, so, if this keeps going in the same thread, I'm very happy with that. Honorary mention for Marvel, uh, Death of Doctor Strange Bloodstone, one shot. I know a lot of you missed out on it because it turned out to be a weird first appearance um, and we didn't order enough copies. So we can now order a second print in. Um, if you missed out on it, let us know and we'll order you one. So from Image this week, Slumber number one. It's about a dream hunter, a dream detective, who basically kills your nightmares dead, which I think is fantastic. I know it's a done premise at this point, Nightmare on Elm Street, for example, but it looks really cool, so I'm willing to give it a try. So from DC, Batman Superman World's Finest number one. Anyone who's talked to me for longer than five seconds knows how much I love Once and Future. Dan Moore is the artist on that. Dan Moore is the artist on this. I'm incredibly happy, but it's also Mark Wade writing Superman again, so it's going to be one of the best things you read this year. And honorary mention for DC, Nightwing 90, it's the start of a new story arc, it's got my boy The Flash in it, makes me very happy. Also Tom Taylor is just absolutely destroying everyone else when it comes to writing for DC at the minute, so definitely give this a try. So if you're looking to get into Batman comics after you've watched said movie that we're not mentioning, we have in stock now the first two parts of the Long Halloween story. Obviously that was a big influence on the movie. Um, they just kind of took Holiday out and replaced him with the Riddler. One of the best Batman stories, if not the best Batman story actually, so well worth a read. Batman Black Mirror, again, dealing with a serial killer. It's Dick Grayson Batman this time, though, which kind of explains what's my favourite, I suppose. Definitely worth your time as well. Last but definitely not least, Jim Lee goodness. We love this book here, not just because of Jim Lee, but because of Jeff Loeb's amazing writing too. Not as good as Long Halloween, but that's okay, Jeff. We love it anyway. So that's all I've got for you this week. Um, hopefully we'll have some more number ones to go through next week. Please check out our newsletter for the full list of releases and for the link to our GoFundMe page for Greg. Thank you very much.